Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. Here, I've got a radish that has gone to seed. In fact, it did a while back. And finally, there are some dried pods on here that I can collect and save some seeds from. These are some of the easiest veggies to save seed for. They produce a lot uh, for just one plant. So I'll bring you guys in, you can see what I'm doing. Right here, these are the pods. And now they're all brown and dried out. I mean, this plant is basically dead. There's a couple little leaves on here, but most of this is done. There are some small seeds here that are just probably nothing, okay, in them. There might be a couple. These pods might have a couple, and there you go. There's one seed. And that's all that came with that pod is one seed. Let's go ahead and grab one of these larger pods. There we go. And I will bring you guys in, you can see what this is. So you basically just kind of crumple this up. It's like almost like a bean pod. And there we go. So that one produced seven seeds right there. And I've got quite a few of these pods. I'm just going to collect them for now. And then we can come back in and pull the seeds out of the pods. Now one thing about collecting your own seeds and saving seeds is that generally plants will send info to the next generation through the seeds. Excuse the rooster in the background. Every time I come out here, he's crowing, but the plants will send information to the next generation about kind of how to grow. And over time, you get something that grows usually a little healthier and a little better the next year. So saving seeds actually is better than buying them. I want to get this plant out of here. So once I can get this plant out, then I can open this up and uh, you can see that this one is a little stunted because it's underneath this and we had some aphids and those aphids kind of transferred to this pepper plant here that just is not as big as some of these others. It's not doing as well. If I can get this out of here, I can spray that for some aphids, get the aphids gone, then we are, you know, good to go and that'll get a lot healthier. So that's the plan here. But that's, that's a fair amount, guys. So that's gonna produce dozens and dozens of seeds. So let's go ahead and start breaking these apart. You can see right there, look at all those seeds. So once you open it up, just like a bean pod, more of a seed pod, but there we go. I've got all the seeds out. I'm gonna try winnowing this. Now it's not really windy today, so I gotta blow on it. Oh, that was, it was actually easy enough. It didn't, uh, if I just blow in the bowl, I didn't even need to, to watch this guys. Oh, that last piece. So there we go. That's all the seeds. Now, that's a fair amount, guys. I, I got, I don't know, 50 seeds from that, probably. That's not bad. I will try planting these next year. Of course, I'll bring you guys along for that video. Oh, and by the way, this is a cherry bell radish variety. You can see the size of that radish down there. It is huge. Once I pull this off, you'll see it a little closer. Let's go ahead and pull this up. Look at that long root. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, cherry bell radishes are usually maybe this big around. And so that's huge. And uh, it just becomes almost like a tree. It's huge. Now, there is no value to this at all. Now, I've got a burn pile here. This can't be fed to the chickens. I mean, I could, I guess, but I don't think there's any nutritional value left. Um, it used all of it up with making flowers so goes in the burn pile and there we go now this is opened up i've got a few flowers i want to put in here that i think are going to be beneficial It'll still bring those pollinators i've got one it's a marigold uh, but i've got a couple others i'm going to put in so i'm going to go get those these are the two flowers that i'm going to plant it's a both are chamomile one is german one is roman okay so i'll just put one on either side right in the center there by the way check it out Got some peppers. This is a gypsy hybrid is the variety. That is the first one to create peppers. But I've got quite a few flowers. Every single one is producing flowers around here. So, except for this one right there. But I will be getting peppers soon, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. 
coming with me and collecting seeds and, and planting some chamomile. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and it was informative to you. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you guys could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.